Hi, it's Chris Duncan here and welcome to the Emotional Recode process. I'm so excited to teach you this and help you understand exactly how to recode any stuck emotion, fear, uncertainty, doubt, self-sabotage, uh, a worry about judgment, any worries at all, triggers. It's very exciting to understand we have the fastest way combining current science, epigenetics, neuroscience, neuroplasticity, and age-old wisdom from the Hermetica and from alchemy and understanding how we can bring this together with the unified field to create such an amazing process. I can't wait to show you the demonstration. It's going to blow you away. For me, I spent years trying to figure this out. In fact, 15 years of my life was dedicated to how do I create more success? How do I create lasting change? How do I get out there and actually change and shift myself into someone that could be really, really successful. And I went out and I studied from a lot of people. You probably have too. Bruce Lipton, Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden, Lynn McTaggart. I spent time with Anthony Robbins and Richard Barlett, Colette Stryker, William Whitecloud. And I got certified in all sorts of processes because I had this belief and this understanding that I needed to fix myself. So I just kept on searching and searching. I did Hopoono and NLP and EFT and hypnosis. I changed my diet and I went on searching and searching and searching and there was a huge missing piece. And so as I'm sitting there watching Abraham Hicks and looking at Anthony Robbins and trying to understand how do I actually create this change? How do I shift and become successful? Because for me, uh, yes, right now I have a multi-million dollar company. I, I live in paradise with my amazing wife. I travel the world. I have great businesses and, and all that's true now. But I grew up working class. I grew up in a place of doubt and fear and worry. And so I spent all this time and it always, it always found like I was missing something. And so today I want to explain to you what I found in the full system that was really only given to me by spending time with a billionaire and sharing some amazing wisdom on how they think and how they've been able to change things. So it's very exciting. What I find is a lot of people are oscillating. And what I mean by that is they can move forward, but their emotions hold them back. So they say they want to make more money or get into a new relationship or start a new diet. They want to do something different. But then as they go to do it, they get an emotional signal that stops them. It might be true for you. It was definitely true for me. It's true for a lot of people that I've worked with and a lot of people that I've mentored and seen and helped and coached. And so about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, I, I put out this, uh, this, this offer to come and see me live. And I had about 30 people show up. And I demonstrated this process in front of the live room. It blew people away. In fact, I recorded it. I put it online, put it on uh, YouTube. And over 1.5 million people have seen this process. And if you're watching this right now, I'm about to release the emotional recode that goes with this video, how to do it, how to step in, how to let things go. So I'll share that huge opportunity at the end. I've got an amazing special discount for this early bird release to be some of the first people to come try this out. Let me know how it is because your emotions are crucial. If you don't have the right emotional set piece, you, set point, you just won't be successful. See, if you just plant seeds of frustration, or plant seeds of scarcity, trying to grow an abundance forest that won't work. And a lot of people are going to be like, Chris, don't talk to me about uh, the law of attraction. And I say, well, the law of attraction is true. You see, if I plant a carrot seed here and a strawberry seed there in the same soil, same fertilizer, same rain, same sun, everything, they will attract to it different minerals and vitamins and everything it needs. This one become carrots, become strawberries. It will attract it. Well, you're like that seed. You're planting yourself in the universe, but also there's another law, which is the law of action. And the law of action is true as well. You can have both of these laws available. In fact, all of us believe that there's such a principle as gravity. Yet when, we, when a plane flies, the law of lift is above the law of gravity. So it, it supersedes and it moves through. Well, that's the same here. Both laws exist. There's a law of action, then there's a law of attraction. And I know a lot of people that have worked hard their whole life, done a lot of action and not got success. And so they're, they're both relevant. And what I want you to be able to do is understand that emotions play a huge role in both of them. See, you are your emotions. That's your emotional set point. That's your frequency. So you simply can't be planting scarcity or frustration or lack or not good enough and expect to be able to create something else. And vice versa, you, you simply cannot be trying to not act 
and sit back and wait for things to turn up. You need to act. But action is motivated a lot of times by how you feel. And our emotions can become hardwired. And Esther Spencer says, you know, we become a habit. And we have to break that habit. See, our emotions are hardwired. And to give you a quick example, do you remember where you were September 11, 2001? Can you pull that out of the ether and bring it in? Yeah, it's very likely that you can. Or do you remember, you know, when you heard about someone dying or or what have you or, or another special moment? There are certain high intensity emotions and moments that stick out in our brain. And so what I've discovered is how to use the aspect of our consciousness called the super conscious, how to let go and recode anything that you desire, but also bringing in some ancient alchemy and wisdom on how to create what you want. Putting these together is profound. I'll share about that in a second and show you an amazing demonstration because if you don't get out of this loop, if you don't get out on this loop of, I've got to, you know, I've got to change myself or I'm not this or I'm not. If you don't get out of this loop of the emotions that you're in, if you don't get out of that, it's very frustrating. In fact, your life, you can just keep on searching for the answer, searching for the answer, searching for the answer. And what I want you to understand is you have an identity conflict and your identity conflict is created at a very early age. And I, and I want to explain this because this is the number one reason why you must have an emotional recode. So this is the human journey. And uh, I'm showing you this straight out of our booklet that comes with our course that I'll give you an opportunity to purchase at the end of this video. And so we're all born as a pure creative spirit. Okay, we have it all. We're carried around by our mother. Our mother gives us everything we want. And then we're born. And as we're born, we become an individual. And as we become an individual, we don't have it all. We have to do something to get food. We have to uh, do certain things to get love. There's, it's not just all there. And this is actually a wounding and it creates our individual identity. And that wounding happens to every single one of us. However, what happens next is interesting. We then make up beliefs and structure to resolve that pain. So I must be successful to, you know, to, to be worthy. I must do this to get love. I must be this. I must be this. And we create up these structures. I must be invisible. I must be, I must try to be good enough. We create up beliefs and structure to resolve the pain. We think this can't be right. I can't, I can't just not have it all. This isn't, this can't be true. So we make up this pain. And what happens is, we become orientated by this belief. So for me, I became orientated as I realized we don't have it all. My family doesn't have it all. Oh, okay, why not? Well, we don't have enough money. We're working class. So I became orientated and obsessed about, well, if I could just have enough money, then I'd finally be able to have freedom. But what happened was this created my identity. And this identity would never allow me to actually be successful. This was my emotional set point. It was of a striver, not of a receiver, of someone in frustration, not in abundance. And think about you and the wounding and what you were creating and how you've orientated yourself to the world. See, that belief, if you move down here, this belief creates reality. And the problem is, is as we're moving towards creating a life we love, this orientation is working against us. Okay. And this is why most people never are able to break free because they never get out of the structure. So let me give you an example. The structure is I'm not good enough. So I'm going to go and create money to become good enough. As soon as I move close to being good enough and having the money, my identity of not being good enough says, hey, I don't want to die. I've been in charge of this body, this system, this human for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. No, like we're not going to get the money because the money would mean that I was good enough and I've created an identity of not being good enough. Now you can replace that with not worthy, insignificant. You can replace that with being a perfectionist. You can replace that with anything. And so what happens is this person gets close to their goal and then their identity sabotages it. Their identity, same with love, same with health. Think about it. They create an identity. Well, if I had a healthy body, well, then I would be loved. So they've created an identity of, you know, not deserving, unloved. And if I have this, then I will be loved. And so they set this whole structure up and they get really close to it and then they come back. They get really close to it and they come back. I call this oscillating. And it's all because we've become addicted to our feelings. We've been, become, become addicted to our identity. We think we are that. I think I am Chris Duncan. You think you are you. And so this was a huge revelation because as I was understanding this, I started to realize, all right, 
Well, the more that I try to fix this current reality, the more I'm reinforcing that I'm separate from what I want. The more the identity just keeps pulling me back. And so I had this big shift and I take people through this awakening. And the shift in awakening is letting go of all past wounding emotions and everything and stepping into the wizard's gate and having it all now. This is the first thing we do. It's what we'll do with you in the Emotional Recode program that you can get today is we help you let go of all of your rules and your structures so you can have it now. Instead of waiting till you have the money, feel abundance now. Instead of waiting until you until you have a relationship that you want, you feel love now. Until, so you feel it now. This is the wizard's gate. And it's the emotional recode. It's the first thing we must do is we must become it now. See, when we become it now, let me just move ahead a little bit here. When we become it now, our current reality, CR, becomes our desired reality. And so you become truly satisfied and then you're able to create. And I'll get to this in a second. Let me just skip through, skip back to where we were. Is very important to understand we've got to recode and have it now. This is the shift. And this is the first step on, on the path of becoming a powerful creator. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of, of exactly uh, how this is done and really powerful emotions letting it go. I'll show that in, in just a little bit. But what this does, it allows you to be it before you see it. See, as I go back to that seed, the carrot seed or the strawberry seed, okay, if you've spent years and years and years trying and searching and going to personal development, you've got to hear this, is it's the resonance of each one. Everything is created twice, once in the invisible, once in the visible. You break open that seed, you look at it, you won't see no forest. You won't see an infinite amount of carrots. You won't see uh, strawberry plants for the rest of eternity, but that's the instructions that's there. Same with you, we pull you apart, right? We don't see the instructions you're giving to the universe because the instructions you're giving is who you are. And so if you're giving instructions that you're, you know, you're a certain way, that's what's gonna show up. That's what you're planting. So we have to get you into the emotional set point. The emotions you're thinking is half the battle. And then once you are it, then you're going to be able to see it and realize it. And you see up here, this says lives from a creative orientation where you're able to then turn thoughts into reality and become the predominant creative force in your life. And that is when you can have it all and manifest everything. It's likely if you've been on a search like me, you've looked at all sorts of things. And the problem that I've found is they always put the power outside of you. They always put the power outside of you. And I want you to know you're powerful. You've created everything. We simply must stop trying to fix our current reality. I've got to let you know you're not broken. You are perfect. When you step into the creative structure, when you're truly satisfied and happy right now, when you're in the end result, the desired result, you will realize that your desire doesn't make your life better. It's just different. See, we've got this wrong. If we look at really successful people, they didn't make success personal. Warren Buffett is a successful guy. He's made a lot of money. Yet he has McDonald's every single day. He doesn't have this healthy lifestyle we're supposed to have. He doesn't meditate. Yet he's made millions of dollars, had successful relationships, and billions of dollars, sorry. He's the third richest guy on the planet. But he has Coca-Cola and McDonald's every single day, which flies in the face of what a lot of us say, well, I've got to be in this certain vibration, this certain way. No, you've just got to be it. See, we keep thinking that we've got to try to to change ourselves, but but instead we just got to be it. And we look at people who have been able to create success, we've got to realize success isn't personal. So we've got to stop trying to make it personal all the time. As we keep making it personal again and again and again and again and again, what we realize is that we just got to let it all go and then just choose it. And so this is one of the things that we really get to uh, to work on and have and be a part of in this in this structure, because instead of going and saying it's something outside of you, what we're going to do instead is we're going to say it is you. It's inside of you. You're super conscious 
That aspect of you that we haven't talked about much yet is the part of you that's going to make all the difference. And that's because you really have, you have three different aspects of consciousness. Okay. And most of us have worked just in the unconscious or in the, the ego consciousness, right? But the super conscious is where the most profound change can happen. And the super conscious is connected through time and space through your whole family. In fact, Bert Hallinger has said we have up to seven generations of family trauma sitting in your field. Do you think that's pretty amazing? Seven generations. Now, I think it's more than seven. Uh, but I think he's only been able to study seven because he started uh, his work in the 40s. He's only been able to see seven. So it's, uh, I think it's a lot more than that. But isn't it interesting to think that your, your genetics have passed down more than just looks and health? They've also passed down trauma and emotions that are now stopping you. And so I was, sometimes I work with someone, they can't hold on to money or they can never have a good relationship. And we go back into, into the work and we realize, you know what? This was a decision their grandmother made when in World War II, they made all this money. And then before World War II, they made all this money. Then they, everything was taken from it. And so they made these decisions. And so you've got to take your power back by realizing you are super conscious. And this super conscious is the best aspect of you to work with. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the demonstration in a second because compared to the unconscious, that the unconscious, by the way, doesn't want to change. That's your automatic processing, subconscious, it's working um, below the level of thinking. Your thinking is your ego. But behind all of that is a unified field structure that's connected to you, connected to me, connected through your family, and we're all one at the superconscious level. What's great about the superconscious, it's just it's just here to create change. So look, look, let me stop talking about it. I want to show you this work. And then when you come back, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get involved in the emotional recode. So let me cut to this amazing demonstration where I bring two women up on stage. They have an amazing experience. And uh, look, you can see it for yourself. So enjoy. What is it that you really want to create in, when it comes to public speaking? What do I want to create? Yeah. To be confident and relaxed and to know what I'm talking about. Mm. Confident and relaxed? Yeah. Awesome. And what would you like, Misty? Yeah, I'd just be able, be able to say what's in my head without mixing my words or feel like I want to read it. And How would you like to feel? How would you like to feel? Oh, I'm not like to feel now. <laughs> How would you like to feel? <laughs> oh, that's all right. You'll be all right. I just want to just feel like a, like you, like it's just natural, like, like me. Normal. Yeah. yeah. Like Chris, cool, calm, handsome. <laughs> but so, what would you choose? You choose to feel just normal in front of people. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So that's our choice. So, what's it like now compared to that? What's it like now? I feel a bit relaxed. I don't feel my heart pounding as much. Well, no, in general, in life, when you think about public speaking, oh. what's it like? Oh, terrible. It's the worst fear. It's the worst fear. Yeah, I did it once and I had diarrhea just before I go on. <laughs> and what about you? What's it like for you I now? I feel anxious. Like, because I can see you feeling it and it's in your heart as well, right? Yeah, anxious. Like yeah. Mm. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through this. It's super easy. And uh, I want to ask, out of 10, how much resistance do you feel from um, public speaking? 10. And how about you? 10. 10 and 10. Okay, so just go ahead and close your eyes. And uh, I'm just going to ask you a super conscious if it's okay for me to connect with it and to treat, to treat these emotions for more satisfaction in life. And you don't have to do anything but just relax and take a few deep breaths. Superconscious, do you see that? Do a massive change history and everything after that. And just breathe into that as the change starts to take place. And you guys can just observe. I'll explain it all after. Is that okay? Superconscious, please go back to the active experience. Please go back to the original experience. And if it's safe, do a massive change history and everything after that. Thank you.
and just allow it to come up and just ask your superconscious to, to just treat it in the perfect way, in the perfect order. That's it. Superconscious, do you see this resistance? Can you please do, can you please treat secondary intentions, energy systems? And broken promises. Do a massive change history on broken promises. And just notice what you need to notice as that comes through. Just like the feather, just, just sweep it out. That's it. You guys are doing great up here. So just, just keep noticing that and notice as you allow it to just shift through. Superconscious, can you see any energy systems, chakras, meridians? emotions, beliefs, and anything else popping in the active experience now in relation to public speaking. And ask all parts of the personality to join in on treatment and join in with the main personality. Knowing that nothing's gonna die, it's just gonna be shared with the main personality and do a massive change history and everything. Superconscious, do you see any final resistance? Any last resistance before we do a quick check-in? Superconscious, see the chest, the chest area, the heart, chakras around that, that's it. Emotions, please bring into the active experience and do a massive change history, anything there that's stopping. Just total confidence, relaxed and saying what's in your head being normal in front of people do a massive change history and everything that's it and just take five big breaths noticing what you need to notice and then you can come back to us and when you're ready you can come back there you go how's that how do you feel out of 10 now when you think about public speaking Pardon? You forgot everyone was here? Yeah, well, they, they're here. How do you feel when you feel about public speaking out of 10 now? You feel all right? Who's noticed a difference already? Show of hands. All right, so you feel all right about it? Yeah? And so, and how about you? How do you feel? Yeah, I can start looking people in the eyes before I wouldn't even want to look at them. And yeah. now I can just talk to you and look at you. And that I would never look at people. Yeah. No, I didn't even notice that before. Yeah. 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 It's easier. Much easier. Cool. Because see, talk is cheap, right? But I could show you that I know how to connect and to let things go. Who thinks this is amazing? Show of hands, by the way. I want to see this. It's pretty cool. But I need you guys to explain to them. You know, I know this was your biggest fear before, but now you're in front of a group. What, what was that process like, Felicity? What, what happened? I was just listening to what you were saying. Yes. Yeah, that was it? That was it? Yeah. Nice. That was it? I didn't even know what you were doing. <laughs> Actually, halfway through, I thought, I wonder if that's supposed to be answering your question. <laughs> <laughs> Who can see they're way more relaxed right now? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've done the first four. There's one last step, okay? So close your eyes, and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to choose your end result. Confident, relaxed, saying what's in your head, and completely normal in front of audience. I want you to choose that and experience it now. And Superconscious, can you please ground all the memories we've touched today back into the matrix, including memories one, two, and three, ego states, tandem memories, and everything else into a massive change history Thank you. That's it. That's it. And so what is the next step you must take? What's the next step you must take to ground into reality that you are a confident speaker? What is it? To 
know my subject, what I'm talking about, then just be confident about doing and talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just be confident. And how do you feel now about that? Uh, easy. Easy. Yeah. What's your next step? Start doing it. Start doing it. Yeah. So how was that? Yeah, I, uh, I expect that you truly loved watching that, witnessing it, you wanna give it a go. I would love to see you be able to get the results like that. And those are profound changes. People struggle with public speaking a lot. In fact, it's one of the biggest fears on the planet. So the Emotional Recode program I wanna to talk to you about, we, we like to call it Emotional Mastery. This is the way that I'm gonna to connect to your superconscious and have your emotions in your end result today. And I hope you're really excited about that. So the first thing that I'm going to give you today is a massive program that is all about your emotions. It's called the Superconscious Emotional Mastery Program. And this is going to take you through six specific one hour sessions that you can listen to as many times as you like that are gonna recode the biggest stuck emotions we see. The first one is the fear of failure. We are going to turn fear of failure around and drop it out so it doesn't exist anymore. Number two, fear of rejection and feeling like a fraud. We're gonna remove all of that today for you as well. After that, overwhelm. We're gonna remove overwhelm, anxiety, self-sabotage, triggered emotions. So triggered emotions is when Things just overtake you and you can't think anymore. These six one hour sessions, I normally sell for $2,000. And today you're gonna to get a substantial 85% discount on those. Plus, I'm gonna give you some massive, massive, massive bonuses. So I hope you're excited, but let me just ask if all you did was to remove your fear of failure or a fear of rejection, or to stop self-sabotage, what would that really mean for your life? Really, and if you've seen this transformation with these women, you, you should be feeling very excited. I'm also gonna give you a full online training portal that will help you to get access to really understanding how this is gonna work for you so you can have a great experience. Plus, I'll give you a replay of our recent live workshop. I ran a two hour live workshop. I'm gonna give you that so you'll be able to get that on demand, go through it. People paid good money to be there today. You can have it for free. And I want to give you a five day emotional mastery challenge. Each session is an hour and a half long. So this is a substantially good course and it goes in detail around emotional mastery. It's a real challenge. It builds day in, day out to get you focused on the right emotions and that's worth $499 on its own. That's free for you today on this page. Now, on top of that, I wanna give you three visualizations, the mind reprogramming, super conscious visualizations that you can plug into and listen to every single day to get into the end result that you wanna create. I sell those for $99, they're free today. Plus, I wanna help you make more money. So I have a five day millionaire mind challenge to get you in the end result of abundance, feeling like you have it now, feeling good and understanding how to make money. So I'm very excited for you to have this program all up the whole value. If you bought this all separately, like if you just went to my website and bought each piece separately, it would cost you $2,893 for the lot, okay? And so I normally would sell this bundle for $1,999. Today you can get a humongous, humongous, humongous discount. It's on this page. And that's because this is an early bird special. It is pre-launch. This is worth the full two or even $3,000. And I'm sure you agree that even just recoding or removing one of these would make a huge difference to your life. But some people say to me, but Chris, I've already tried these sort of things before. I very highly doubt that you've gone into the superconscious. Carl Jung talked about superconscious, Edgar Cayce talked about superconscious, but we're really the only ones, along with Colette Stryker, my mentor, connecting into the superconscious and doing the work. You might think, but but Chris, I've done lots of healings or I am a healer myself. And I say the number one problem is, is healers focus on the problem reality, not on creating. So I'm excited for you to see what it's like when you step into a creative structure and let things go. And you might have tried everything. 
And so I want to guarantee you do this, you do the work, you turn up, you're going to get amazing, amazing, amazing results. So you don't have to just trust me. You don't have to take this right now. But I highly recommend if, if you're still watching and you've got a bit out of this, it's because this is right for you and it's really true. So just think about this. If even a little bit of this, even a little bit of this makes a difference for what I'm asking for today, it will pay itself back 10 or 20 fold over your lifetime. And I know that's true. So please take this offer, take it today, take a huge discount, give me your feedback, give me your testimonials. And in a couple of months, you're gonna see this out there at a much, much, much higher price. Or that might even be next week. I don't know at what time you're watching this, but I know that the early bird price and special will not be around for very much longer. So take action see you in the program and really get right into it the first one it might be a fear of failure fear of rejection self-sabotage anxiety overwhelm go for what's going to make the biggest difference jump straight in you can do it today i can't wait to hear your feedback i love you so much thank you for watching to the end of this video we were asked who who had a fear of public speaking um, normally when I get up and speak to a group I get very uh, tight chested my eyes often water um, and I get very shaky and you can hear it in my voice when I speak um, and I also will mince my words so they don't always come out the right way around um, and then after his process of um, when we went through that when I opened my eyes, the first thing I noticed, there was actually people sitting in front of me. Whereas before I hadn't noticed them because I was, I was looking at the ground. I didn't even remember anyone being in the room. Um, and now I'm actually looking forward to um, a group that I attend on Tuesdays. I'm actually looking forward to my first um, talk um, and just really looking forward to what's to come. So thank you.